Hey, it's Ben Coates here with Coates Homes in Dallas, Texas, and I'm with Poget with Briggs Freeman Sotheby International Realty, and we're talking about Wanderwood. What is Wanderwood? Where is it? Tell us a little bit more. It's the extension of Wonder Lane. It is this amazing estate. It was 8.85 acres. It's been divided into eight separate lots, and these lots are absolutely special. The trees, the feeling, it's hidden gem. Well, we're excited to be partnering with you all, you and Lisa Besser on this project. Tell us how many lots are sold, how many are under contract. Tell us a little bit more about the high level of the lots. Well, this is exciting. Right away now, we're sitting with three lots sold, but number six is under contract. That's right. So that's really great, great news. And then we have a lot of interest on the other lots. The one that is getting a lot of attention is lot number three. That's right. Because it has got an access bridge that walk you can walk across to Forest Lane. And then interestingly enough, the two that are accessed from Forest Lane are also getting a lot of attention That's because awesome. of the way the house can orientate itself towards the creek. So I must say overall, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of people dreaming about these amazing homes that they can create and design and build and then enjoy the rest of their lives. So we've got 50% almost sold. We've got an amazing time that we wanna show you today, walking you through the different lots, showing you different things that you can do with your potential new build, your house, and we can't wait to show you more. We're here in Wanderwood at Lot 4, Poget. Tell us a little bit about the features of Lot 4 and why you like it. Lot 4 is very special. It is one of the largest lots in the whole development, and especially down by the creek, it gets very wide. Uh -huh. So imagine a family, build this incredible home with this great space to entertain and enjoy outside with the creek below. We're taking advantage of the great difference from the street level here down to the creek and the undulating hills. What does that give you the opportunity for? You know, I look at it like with the architectural background and think about all the incredible design opportunities. Mm -hmm. So imagine the house stepping down or actually going out and floating and creating underground area for That's cars right. or maybe a gym or maybe an amazing wine cellar. That's right. So using the site, understanding the lot, what is here, nature's creation, and then taking advantage of it and then making this house extraordinary. That's right. And not to mention an infinity edge pool on a grade and a lot like this looking into the creek could be unreal. Wow. We're excited for people to get to do stuff. Let's like that. do it. We're in the backyard of lot four. And as you can see behind me, it is unreal. This wouldn't even be where the pool would be. The pool would actually be really back more closer to the street where the house would be. Imagine the pool being connected to the house, infinity edge, and this is what you're looking at. Obviously it'd be manicured, but you can see the creek, you can see the grading. So Poget, you've been an architect before a realtor for 21 years. Tell us your opinion of this backyard and lot and how you would be designing this. Well, I would come and spend an hour or two in the site and understand it and feel it. And we used to call it the understand the genius loci of each particular site. And I really feel the space would give me the ideas of how I would come up with a design for the design concepts, the ideas, and really feel it. And then I think it would flow and you'd have a design that would be extraordinary indeed. I love that. So the genius loci is letting the lot speak to you. and Talk letting, to you. Instead of changing it to make it something you want, let it tell you what it is and then design yeah. the house within yeah. the lot. Yeah. The features, the feeling all work together to give you the idea of how you're going to design this house. So when you look at this, Ben, I mean, it's just endless opportunity That's to right. create something so, so amazing. So it feels like we're in Augusta, Georgia right now at the Masters yes. Tournament. We yeah. can hear the birds in the background. The trees are unreal. The creek is down here behind us. But imagine on your patio overlooking this amazing setting. This could be where your family calls home. Absolutely, and I just, I just get such an amazing feeling standing here and thinking about the opportunities. It's really incredible. What's really cool about Wanderwood, and if you were to buy a lot here and build a home, this area that we're in now, the creek bottom, this is almost a second backyard. I mean, tell us the cool features about something like this, having a lot on a creek. So to me, the creek makes this experience extraordinary indeed because Imagine kids, your sons walking down to the creek, looking at the turtles. There's That's some right. amazing turtles down here. That's right. The nature, the wildlife, it's fabulous. So just being able to enjoy it, you don't even know you're in Dallas, never mind in the center of Dallas with these trees, 
the water, it's wonderful. It's a one acre lot that you can't go find in Dallas that also has a creek. Very tough to find. And I just think the word that describes it so beautifully is that it's just so magical. So now we're in the backyard of lot three, different than lot four. It has a lot of unique features, but I think the trees are the feature to lot three that you cannot match. Lot three, because of the location of the bridge That's that right. connects to Forest Lane and that opportunity to walk across is, is unique. That's it's right. the only one that is as close to it. And then the idea of being here with this incredible curve of the creek that gives you a view down to either side makes it even more different. So when we bought Wanderwood, the estate used to have put in a bridge. And so at the end of the day, we've kept that old concrete bridge. So lot three has the ability to have their grandchildren or children walk across that bridge to a separate backyard that's on the other side of the creek. And I think that's what you're saying is really unique. Absolutely, because just visualize what opportunities there are for the kids to have fun, for the parents to go and sit away from everybody else. So there are these secret areas. That's right. And I love that feeling. People don't get that in Dallas usually. Totally and that's right. what makes this so different. Imagine growing up with a bridge in your backyard and a waterfall in a creek. Couldn't be a more unique opportunity. And this opportunity is for sale. Absolutely. And I just wish I was a kid again to get to enjoy this. Wow, incredible. We're here on lot two. We're in the backyard and you can see behind us, this is actually the rear part of the house. This is their patio, their multi-level terrace backyard. You can imagine an infinity edge pool behind us looking out into the backyard. But tell us what you do when people are interested in buying a lot at Wonderwood, how you utilize this house. Yep. Now that you have this under construction, it's a huge advantage for us, Ben, because we walk the potential buyers who are studying and enjoying the whole development. But once we get them in the house and they now can experience these views and we take them up to the upper level and then you're up in the trees and it's wow. incredible. It's like a tree house. It's, it really is. And the reaction from them is, wow, I didn't expect this. That's right. And that has been a big, big, big surprise for them. We have lots seven and eight. You can't find a better one acre plus lot with a creek in Dallas for the price point. So we are now on the other side with access from Forest Lane, but there's some greater design opportunities there. The one idea is to have one main entrance and then split off to two separate houses. Right. Or Ben, you could combine the two lots and have one entrance and have the whole double lot, that which would, would be, be very unique for Dallas because you've got the creek, then close to two acres and just this incredible situation that is, you can't find it yet. So lot seven and eight, are they priced the same? What are the prices? No, that's the big difference. They are lower priced, but that gives you the opportunity to possibly combine them. It's got the trees, it has the creek. There's no difference in the lot quality itself. It's just the access, but you could design something that really has a great entrance appeal That's for right. your visitors, for your guests, for your family. So to me, as I said before, it's a big win. And lot seven and eight can be more private and more exclusive because you can have that private drive, that private gate off for it. Absolutely.